Hello, my name is Captain Bill Blackman and I've been a Corps officer for almost 15 years. My parents were Salvation Army officers and so I always grew up around the Salvation Army and I remember when I was a very little boy, like seven or eight years old, I was on a swing with a friend telling them about Jesus and I remember running home to my mom and saying, I know my calling, it's to be a Salvation Army officer to tell people about Jesus. When I was older, I went through a crisis of faith and, you know, saw a different path for my life. So at about 16, I went to a candidate seminar and through that, God just reconfirmed in me that calling and I recommitted myself to that and began to, yeah, to pursue that in my life. So, well, I would say for me that I felt confident, assured, and I began to, to have my life head in that direction. But I also wrestled with, you know, some of the structure of the Salvation Army. And so how do I fit under that structure? How do I both submit, but also, you know, live prophetically? And so those were all those questions that haunted me throughout my teens and early 20s as I was trying to prepare. Part of my spiritual gifts is to be a preacher. And so when I have the opportunity to bring God's word to people, I feel his spirit intensely. And I feel like that is often um, confirmed and questioned at different times by different people. And uh, so for me, that is definitely where I feel like I'm being most used by God. But really, it's in interacting with people and seeing Christ come alive in them. And that's where you begin to go, OK, yeah, I'm supposed to keep doing this. Um, I'd say like one of the highlights for me was, you know, moving into this new neighborhood, meeting my neighbors and my neighbor being like very uninteresting Christianity, almost mocking me, called me a Jehovah Witness and um, building a friendship with him, him learning to trust us and then him starting to come to our church, committing his life to Christ and then hosting Alpha and Bible studies in his house. So it's just this incredible change and transformation that we got to see happen and so that was exciting. The first thing I would say is that if you're called, you, um, like God will use you. It won't always be easy, but it will be um, a way of just experiencing his blessing and joy in your life. But I would really consider the call. I would seek after other people's advice. I would pray. I would, um, you know, count the cost because there is a cost. There's a cost to you and to your family. And it's worth it when you're in God's will, just um, to be really assured of that. Yeah, God, we recognize that um, a call to being a Salvation Army officer is unique and it's not for everyone. And so as people are discerning this, I pray that you would give them both wisdom and understanding, that they would hear clearly your voice, that you would use other people to speak truth to them, and that, God, that you would call um, people who have a heart for you and have a desire to see you glorified and lifted up, and that you would use them to, um, to be the future leaders, the current leaders and future leaders of our denomination. Amen. Mm -hmm.